To launch PowerShell, we'll go to our Start menu, All Programs, Microsoft SharePoint 2010 Products, and in there we find SharePoint 2010 Management Shell. You'll see that I've pinned it to my Start menu, and that's because as administrators, we'll be using this program a lot. So let's run it as administrator. And we have a command prompt. If we're new to PowerShell, we might want to use the command git help. What git help will do is give us information about the commandlets that are available. If we say git help star sp star, it'll give us a listing of all the commandlets with an sp in their name many of which are related to SharePoint. If we give it a specific commandlet, for instance, git help new SP web, it'll tell us the parameters we need to make ourselves a new site in SharePoint. SP web means site. Now we notice that one of the parameters is template. And so specify a template for our new Chemistry 600 site that we want to create, we're going to have to get ourselves a template variable. We can do so by saying dollar sign template and set that equal to get SP web template with a certain parameter. In this case it'll be STS pound one. That's a blank site. Now we can use that to make our new Chemistry 600 site with that template. Before we create it, let's get a listing of all of the webs that exist under ABC University. To do that, we'll say git spweb and we'll give it a URL. So ABC University slash star is what we want them to match. And we see Chem 101, Chem 500, courses, and so on. We'd like to add Chemistry 600. So to do that, we'll say new SP web. We'll give it a URL. We'll specify our template. with our variable, and for the title, we'll specify the name parameter. Now that that's done, let's check and see if it exists. We go back to the web, we look inside courses, and we see Chemistry 600 now exists, and we use the blank site template. 